Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is our next installation to go along with physical science. Uh, last Thursday and last Friday, we should have wrapped up our Unit 1 Investigation 2 quiz. And there's actually a, a little break there. Um, we have the... We have part one of unit one, and then we've got part two. We're actually going to get started on part two today. So part one is just investigation one, investigation two. Part two of the unit gets into investigations three, four, and five. And you'll see it's a slightly uh, different type of content. It's just a, the focus is a little bit different. Investigation one and investigation two, we were all... We're concerned with uh, positive charges, negative charges, and how they interacted with each other. I will be posting a uh, another one of these screencasts to sort of go over the quiz once I see um, some more completion. I'm still, still waiting on a couple people here and there just to finish up. So just uh, in an effort to be fair, I don't want to put those answers out there too soon uh, because a lot of you did a really great job getting it done last week. Like I said, just a couple people need to tie up some loose odds and ends. Okay. So obviously we're not going to be able to go live on Mondays. Not much is going to change as far as the um, organization, if you will. Okay, we are now moving on to investigation three. And this activity, activity 3.1 is actually a pretty short one. So um, you might get done it this afternoon. Maybe you're not going to get to it today and you have to get to it tomorrow. That is just fine as well. Uh, but if you open up this Act 3.1 folder, a couple things. Uh, the first thing I actually have for you here, guys, um, have for you guys here, is a poll, and I just want to see what you guys have thought about our live sessions, both when it comes to um, being helpful in getting new information, but also asking me questions. Um, you know, my number one goal in determining our schedule and, and when we're going to go live and what sort of videos like this that I make is just what 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 do I need to do to help you guys? So if you click in there, I think it's two or three questions. Uh, I ask you for your name. And really, I just want to see what you guys think. What, how do you want to ask me questions? How do you want to get new information from me? Um, and then from there, I'll, I'll take a look and determine what sort of schedule we will be using. Okay. Um, two items in Schoology. There's a warm-up that sort of goes along with the thought experiment. And then the check for understanding that we can do at the end. And again, use the interactions page here first. Go through, think of that as like your 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 notebook. Um, again, pretty short one here. But we're actually starting with what they're calling a thought experiment in this activity. And the question that we're thinking about is if we were to take a piece of paper and we were to cut it up, how small could I get that piece of paper? Is there going to be a point where because the pieces get smaller and smaller and smaller, that those pieces are no longer paper and are now something else? They have some sort of different identity. And like I just said a second ago, this thought experiment goes along with the warm-up I have posted on Schoology. Okay, uh, it's got a couple questions about students and, and some things or suggestions that they might have made.
One thing I do want to point out on this third portion here, there are just two little excerpts that we want to really make sure we pause and just see what they are are see how they are defining these two models. So the two models of matter that we are are introduced to here are the continuous model of matter and the particle model of matter. So we want to make sure that we have a good understanding of how those two models are defined. All right, it's going to ask you to sort of revisit some of the things, some of those statements that we just saw. That's really about it. Okay, there is a check for understanding that's very similar to those uh, multiple choice questions here on the interactions platform. All right. Um, but I, I think this will, will work nicely. Um, you know, I do want to keep the same sort of routine in that we're doing an activity about every other day. Uh, you know, so especially with us coming into school now, this will be a good one, at least for our first day. I'm not sure exactly how much time we're going to have to work this afternoon. You guys will be home again tomorrow. So a nice little light activity to go along with uh, a little bit of confusion as we change into our hybrid model. So as always, uh, reach out to me on Schoology if you've got questions, um, and I'll talk to you guys soon.